Hi guys, my name is Kai Sing and I'm from Team 12, Section 3, and my biology role model is Dr. William Sostak. Here's a picture of him. Okay, so how did Jack get involved in science and what's it like growing up for him? So he studied in McGrill University at the age of 15 in cell biology and he continued his graduate studies in Conwell University and graduated in 1977 in biochemistry. So when Jack grew up with a science background and with his dad being an engineer and his mom working in a chemical company, brought, brought science was always a part of his life and he loved science since young. To a, his dad was his parents were really supportive as well to a point where his dad would even build his own chemistry lab under his basement so that he could conduct experiments he found interesting. And Jack was it's extremely intelligent where in high school it was too boring for him and it, w it was too easy and too boring for him that he would conduct experiments outside of school just so he could um, make it more interesting. And to a point where he made a small hydroponic garden in his high school's friend's house because he, he believed that space stations would need to grow food one day. And and what made him pursue an academic life is because one day he would uh, every day he would always hear unhappy he is about his father working in an engineering company. He had to deal with superiors and colleagues, so he decided he wanted to pursue an academic life because it's more of an egalitarian aspect to it. So what kind of hobbies does he have so he he doesn't actually have any like generic hobbies like soccer or basketball or something but he he has a single hobby that he's always passionate about that is conducting experiments er, jack always found chemical experiments appealing to him because of the combustions and the reactions it had it had a flair of dram dramatic for him and despite the love for chemistry and despite the love for chemistry a summer internship in a chemical laboratory made him change his mind and because of how repetitive and boring it is in experiments in an internship he decided he wanted to follow through with biology instead of chemistry so what is the thing i admire most about the scientist well one thing i there are two things i really admire about him is his curiosity and his passion for science like ever since young he was always curious like what did, how did this happen like what is this he would always conduct his own experiments to to like fill in the void of like not knowing stuff and i'm i could kind of relate to that because ever since young i always wanted to like i always set up experiments so that i could like solve my own problems that i i have like they have no idea no idea on so what field of biology is your scientist like is jack in uh, well he is in uh, genetics biology and molecular biology and he focused and his main focus is this one question. He focuses on trying to understand the origins of life on Earth. That is his main goal. Uh, one of his most recent papers that he that he published that was like around February 2019 was was about core shell modeling of light scattering by vesicles affecting of size, contents, and lamellarity. Well. To sum it up, it's basically there will there there's a there's a specific method to like cat categorizing uh, vesicles, and they use a method a traditional method called Rayleigh Gans Debye approximation, but rather than using the traditional method, Jack decided to use an extended method called Lorentz My Solution, and because of this method, it is much more accurate to interpret simple tubometric measurements. And they are able to accurately model highly scattering vi vesicles because of that. Because of the accuracy accuracy of it, they could they could see multiple layers of the vesicles. So, what was this? What has Jack uncovered so far, and what's his future future goals? So, Jack is the Nobel Prize winning for this in 2009 won a nobel prize in 2009 for discovering how chromosomes were protected by telomerase by experimenting on yeast and also one of his major contributions to biology is that he helped map the locations of genes in mammals and develop techniques for manipulating genes which was instrumental for the human genome project fun fact he was also the advisor for jennifer dotna who was one of the people who founded crispr cas cas9 which is a revolutionary gene editing method to change the whole genetics game. And 
and his future goals currently he's he's a professor in Harvard teaching genetics and he's so and also is conducting multiple experiments in biology that's it that's it for uh that's it for what I have for Jack for uh, dr. Jack and here's my reference okay thank you for your time see ya